Hello everybody, it's nice to see you again and welcome to Glory Power Rock channel. Now, uh, I am Mahfuz Glory and Jad Mongko who is trying to share news about uh, how to manage your glass room by management in some techniques. So that's why there are kind of some factors that influence your glass room. Glass room management, the first and uh, very important aspect of teaching. Once you get glass room management strategies together, then you will find that teaching is pleasure your students with excel at learning this. I mean, help you in manage your classroom. So the first strategy is get prepared. You must be prepared each time that you walk into your classroom. Children now, when the teacher has done their homework, and they respect the fact that their teacher cares now about their learning to prepare in its place. This day, you should carefully plan your day by developing a daily schedule as well as the lesson plan that is close aligned. So, that stipulation provided by the school district. Yes, it's all right. And then, uh, what's that? In other words, students who are peaceful learners so be given lesson and effective that comply with their style of learning. Students who auditory learners should receive instructions in this area. And students who are operative and should have additional assignment as they can independently. So it will be productive every day and then the next make your room attractive and you should do it and work to have an attractive room that you as well as your students can appreciate it and enjoy this lesson this type of environment set the tone for learning so take some time and to make your room attractive and conveyed uh, to learning and your room can also have learning centers, a room library, or a small place for literation. There are some books, maybe, and game area, and listening center, computer science in the corner. And so you can make all creatively. It depends on yourself and uh, how can we make uh, our class interest by the students. Set the classroom rules. Classroom rules, children need rules to follow plus you need guidance for your kids to follow in order to teach and get the most from the day. Sit with your students in the beginning of the year anytime to design a rules. I think when uh, when we sit beside the students, it make they are or they will be happy. Once the rules are made, uh, make everyone responsibility to see that the rules are followed, and you can put some kinds of short term reward in place for those who follow the rules, such as give students. Maybe stick a gift on uh, the student desk or paper after finishing doing uh, the assignment or the text. Then the next, be enthusiastic about your lesson. Teach lesson, teach is, and if you love what you are doing, be interactive with your student and engage them to participate. Develop method to call one 
each one of your student and don't let few of your talkative ones dominate the class. Please remember to give students enough time to answer the question because students are all different. Students are all unique. One and another is not the same. It's different character. So as the good teacher, so you have to comprehend. Understand? So we can serve the students well. Then keep good students record. When children do their work, or then their work should be graded, recorded on your gradebook. Don't forget, maybe the teacher give the test, then after that, only keep signature. There is no credit. It is not continued because we may not take the reflection for the test. That's why it's not good. How can make new motivation to the students. Yes, we have to be paid with your grading system. Let the children see how and why they receive the grade that you give them. I then set the goals from themselves and explore ways with them that will help and to understand the concept of or conceptually exploration. In conclusion, teaching is very important job. And once you get your classroom management skill in order, you will enjoy teach more as well as have more productive teaching career. These are just a few tips uh, from me and for you, so you can explore your time, your planning based on your experience and we have to learn together don't or never say if we are can and now we are not this is enough for my explanation so i wish my experience can help you to manage your class more be effective and attractive and there is good motivation to your students thank you very much